running up to it, it was kind of Christmas time. I was trying to have a bit of banter with the <laughs> with the nurses. Trying to keep my yeah, out. yeah. I said uh, I did say I was expecting presents in a, in a sack this year, but not this one. <laughs> As it was just before Christmas, the reason I was basically going in is to kind of put my mind at rest. I go in um, and then they take me straight for a scan. They essentially call you in and yeah, they don't mess around. Um, they said we've had the sounds back and yeah, uh, we found a tumour and it's cancerous. I just didn't have time to process it, I think. Um, but yeah, it was all fairly quick, fairly instant, which was kind of a good thing in a way. So yeah, that. Diagnosis was on the 23rd of December, and um, then I was actually booked in for the operation on the 20th. Was it easy to tell your friends and family? It was super hard to tell my family. What I did find a little bit easier was kind of talking to my friends about it. I'm part of a big football team, massive squad. Uh, obviously, all my friends from home, I've got a really big circle of friends through uni, etc. Um, they were all kind of in their prime too, so I felt kind of most responsibility to tell them about it but also try and make them feel that they can come to me about it. It was great, you know, everyone got back to me with like, so much support. Um, but the, the great thing which really helped me is that a lot of people got back in touch and asked questions. Speaking to people, you know, after the first week or so um, was definitely probably the best thing I did. I definitely look back on it now and I see it as more of a positive thing than negative. I only see it as a positive.